Hello, dear friends. Here we are at Kardec Radio. Drops of Light, live from the app at Kardec Radio and also here on Facebook page. If you're listening to this on demand, this program is also available on Facebook page at the Facebook page of Kardec Radio, which is facebook.com slash Kardec Radio, or it's also available in the YouTube radio uh, channel at Kardec Radio, okay? Today, we're day before we end the series of 41 days of Drops of Light. Today is day 40. Drops of Light is a book in Portuguese titled Gotas de Luz, in English Drops of Light. It's the first spiritist book of poetry that comes about in English. Thanks to the good spirits that suggested that we took this route, that we take this route to the efforts of all those who are involved in the translation and revision. Today we're going to study chapter 34, which is titled in English, Remarks. These are actually immortal remarks because through them we can really live and lead a different life, a life that is going to be filled with fulfillment, uh, fulfillment of our duties and no regrets. How about that? Huh? And this chapter 34, we're going to read it in Portuguese first, only seven stanzas and soon after in English. Okay? Let's not forget this week we are in the month of September. It's a month that we're not celebrating because we don't celebrate it, but we're paying special attention, raising awareness to prevention of suicide. It's the yellow September, as they call. It's the month that we pay closer attention to the fact that we need to do everything we can to prevent suicide. It's happening as we speak, and you may be asking, what can I do? Well, it's kind of easy. It begins where you're living, the people that are closest to you. People who commit suicide are living under the roofs of our homes. We, what can we do to make people more happy? And that's not pleasing them, but actually supporting their growth. Pleasing people doesn't take us, they, doesn't take us or them anywhere, but supporting their spiritual progress in every way we can actually takes them to another level and us as well. So what can you do to support the people who are in your life? Sometimes people in your workplace, you know those people who are quiet and depressed, pay attention to them, approach them. And if possible, remind them about the beauty of their existence. Sometimes just saying you have a beautiful smile, or I like the way you do this work, or you know, it's very special to have you in our team or in the family. Saying lo how much we love people is never too much. Some people are like, oh, but I'm saying too much. And they don't say anything, it doesn't matter. You just say it and keep saying it and keep saying it and keep addressing. And, and sometimes not only about words, but looking at people in the eyes, um, making them feel important. We're not talking about pleasing again. We're talking about supporting their evolution, saying, I'm here for you. I trust in you. I know we can do this together. I know you're going to the right direction, and I'm here for you. Okay, friends? So this is pretty much how we would like to introduce this beautiful poem today. It's titled Remarks. And I know you and I are on the same page. We are on the same page with also the good spirits because these are drops of light. And drops of light really boost everything that we have inside of us, the best we can ever have 
shall we my friends I'm sharing here with other friends as well and here we have the opportunity of reading in Portuguese and talking about it in English so let me say hi to the community I will say hi to everybody why there are more people sometimes I don't see their names or they watch on demand which is majority if you do so and your name is not here you can say your name and I say I know you're here hello friend I know you are there okay so here we have Raquel how are you my friend the mom of all moms beautiful Raquel beautiful expecting the fourth child congratulations my friend Teresa Catapano how are you so another beautiful mom and Leia Severo mom beautiful mom beautiful grandma beautiful also member at cardiac radio who is collaborating as we speak right Leia and advocating for the cause of fraternity without borders okay and John the Rosa here's the trooper of the spirit side of Virginia of cardiac radio he's always there when you need a helping hand always in I met John the Rosa in 2012 what a beautiful year and he was there at the spirit side of Virginia he's still there helping us in the spiritist group in DC and many other things so we're honored to have you on board John thank you and he's also one of the educators in our center which is fantastic thank you John Jairson the transporting medium thank you Jairson Jairson and Karina Lisa Oliveira they are teaming up Karina uh, took the charge of being the one uh, post of collection of books for the center in Brazil and she I think it's record what she got this far Jairis is gonna have transported to the city when we get there thank you Karina thank you Jair so the campaign is still ongoing until December 25th yes when we celebrate Christmas Christmas Day and um, today we received a donation by Nina thank you Nina Dewey it's beautiful because if you cannot send a book you can give a donation and we are going to buy the book for you and bring it to Brazil okay to the center that is turning a hundred years of existence Centro Espírito Luz e Caridade beautiful Rihanna we're so proud of you I couldn't understand the language you're speaking in your Spiritism South Africa Facebook page Spiritism SA but I saw you were there you're talking about the book recipes of peace by Joana de Angelis to Devaldo Franco and that's amazing keep up the good word work my friend we're honored to be part of your life and Nico's life okay Adilson my beautiful friend the advocate of all causes especially friendship <laughs> Hippolito God bless you my friend and here's Angelita friends of of the ones that are forgotten let's say, say this way yes Angelita is one of the main advocates of the cause of fraternity without borders in the United States and she's she's been traveling to Madagascar and Mozambique and uh, now she has t-shirts available for people it's a way for people to sponsor so talk to her talk to Le Severo as well so you can get the t-shirts help the cause and if you want to go straight to sponsoring a child there go fraternitywithoutborders.org okay Rosaline Rosa how are you friend Elidi wow long time no see you friend big hug to you wow Jussara is here thank you Jussara Julija in beautiful Australia here with us keep up the good word Julija Rudy is here present 40 happy evenings the cup is filled one more drop Rudy you ready friends me too okay let us be honored by the presence of Casimiro Cunha yeah because when we're reading this he's speaking to us and that's what Leon Denis said we're connecting to the mind of the author and tonight Casimiro Cunha is coaching us shall we immortal remarks he's bringing to us chapter 34 
It's titled Remarks. Let me read it to you. Seven stanzas in Portuguese. Bear with me. It's like music. And then the English. A partes. That's the title in Portuguese. A partes. Não ouvides que o silêncio, vitória e virtude encerra. Vencer a própria língua é mais que vencer a guerra. Aprende a buscar proveito nas sombras de tua dor. Muita vez do esterco imundo a planta e tira a dor. Mal vais se a louca ambição é o gênio com que te isolas. Quem muito estima demanda acaba pedindo esmolas. Esforça-te a prol do bem e terás horas tranquilas. O Senhor espalha as nozes, mas o homem deve abri-las. Nossa vida deve ser fonte cantando a bondade. A água estanque e sem proveito é cofre de enfermidade. Trabalha constantemente se procuras luz e paz. O tédio é a chaga invisível daquele que nada faz. Voa o tempo como o vento, dia a dia, hora por hora. Se queres felicidade, faz o bem aqui e agora. Oh, Casimiro, what can we tell you? But thank you. Now in English, huh? We can't wait to break it down. So pertaining. Remarks. Do not forget that in silence there is victory and virtue. Win over your own tongue, which is more than winning a war. Learn to take the benefit of the shadows in your pain. Many times the filthy manure brings flower to the plant. You won't do good through crazy ambition which is the genie that gets you to be isolated. Whoever much steams the demand ends up asking for alms. Strive to do the good and you have quiet hours. The Lord spreads the nuts, but humans must open them. Our life should be spring singing to kindness Stagnated water without benefit is a safe box of illness. War constantly if you seek light and peace. Boredom is the invisible wound of the one who does nothing. Time flies like the wind, day by day, hour by hour. If you want happiness, do the good here and now. All right, this is not the final translation, but we can't wait to share it with you and break it down. How current is this message that was psychographed through Chico Xavier, by Chico Xavier, in 1953? It begins talking about Twitter. Really? And Facebook. Really? And email. Really? And WhatsApp. <laughs> and Instagram. And Snapchat. Yeah, it's about the social of all of us. It talks about social life. Right, Guilherme, velho, how are you, my friend? Antonio Henrique Freitas, how are you? Judas Tadeu, how are you, friend? Hercules is here with us. How are you, Hercules? And Andrea Torres. Thank you, friends. Now think about this. How current this spirit is poetry is here. And these are immortal remarks by Casimiro Cunha. These messages should open spiritist meetings because these are messages that certainly address the current issues of our lives and they have these vibrations, this rhythmic verses. So it's very interesting. He says, do not forget that in silence there is victory in virtue. 
The question for all of us is, how often do we practice silence? I ask that question myself every day. One is, practicing silence when you are alone is easy. <laughs> Mentor Joseph told me the other day. But practicing silence when you are with people, that's the real deal. I said, okay, Mentor Joseph, I'll be more diligent. Yeah, practicing silence. It's interesting because our model and guide, Jesus, he was very good at it. Very sharp. We see in the book, Jesus in the home. We see it in the book, um, Good News, that Jesus was often amongst people, but he was able to be in silence. He was not talking all the time. He only talked when needed and when asked. Imagine when everybody is in that rhythm. Life is going to be much easier, right? And he says, winning over your own tongue is going to be like winning the war. A war. We're talking about wars nowadays. If we just tweeted less, huh? it would be much nicer. If we just Facebooked more wisely, if we just posted messages on WhatsApp a little bit more coherently, right? Coherence is the word. And he says something interesting. In the second stanza, he says, we should learn how to suffer well. Remember that passage from the Gospel According to Spiritism by Kardec, quoting from Jesus, blessed are the afflicted, the whole chapter brings to us this women, this uh, wisdom of suffering well. Suffering well here, he says. Learn. You open to learning? Me too. Okay. We all are in this room. Learn to take the benefits of the shadows in your pain. You know, often we feel something here that is unsettling that's the world we live in we're here to learn it's our school so we say okay what do i do affirmations seeking the good affirmations that's what emilio says seeking the good feeling the good visualize the good mold the good with all the resources we can we're sculpting designing our lives so let's do it together let's say you're in a meeting and something unsettling comes because we feel the vibrations you know peri spirit to peri spirit spiritual body to spiritual body vibration to vibration okay so hold on and I tell myself I am in the arms of God and everything is well I am in the arms of God and everything is well again I am in the arms of God and everything is well. These affirmations, the neuroscience says, when you touch like your body doing an affirmation, there's a science behind it. You're stimulating other parts of your cortex and you're giving more integration to the hemispheres, the thinking and the feeling. And I say, the left and the right, the thinking and the feeling, you integrate, especially when it's midline here. Anything that we do midline, you know when babies, they learn how to clap? There is a milestone for that. And that means when there is greater integration between left and, high, and right hemisphere. When we do emotional exercises in this midline here, Okay, especially here, which is closer to the heart chakra. You're stimulating it, and you're also integrating the information, emotionally speaking. This is true science, neuroscience to you, neuropsychology, and we can combine it all to make this all be more meaningful to us. That's what the menu means, seeking the good. Practical exercises, huh? So he reminds us, Casimiro Cunha loves to make us learn with nature. If we just observe nature, as Kardec says in the first chapter of the Spirit's book, when you 
observe nature, contemplate nature, we have the proof of God's existence. And when we talk about God, we're talking about God's intelligence, because it's the supreme intelligence. It's perfect. So we look at manure, feel three, but it gives food and brings flour to the plant and nourishes it. So through our bedtimes, yes, yes, remember, remember, in good times and bad times, na, 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 yes, we'll be side by side with God learning that experience is going to give us nourishment. Third one, nowadays, People, even spiritists, they tell me, yeah, to ambition this. No, 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 no. Ambition, crazy ambitions are never good. And they say here, if you, in crazy ambition, you will, we, you will not do well because it's the genie that isolates you. You know, at Cardiac Radio, we have a huge international team working together. We could not do the work at Cardiac Radio alone. Alone, we don't go far. Jesus came. He didn't conform with the Pharisaic ways of team working because they were very, they were separating people. But he created his own team and he's our guide and model. You don't need to conform to the standards of others you need to conform to the standards of the Christ. And if you need to form your team to do the good, go ahead and do it. As long as you're not ambitioning anything that is temporary, but just ambitioning to do the good, which is never crazy, right? Am I right? Yes? Yes, Lisa Telis. It's a, we're happy to have you here, too. That's beautiful, Karina. You're going to use Casimiro's poetry in your lecture. Beautiful choice. Very wise, Karina. Nico, how are you? Solange Ribeiro. Big hug to you, Paulo Andrade. Zuleide Miranda. Friends, Paulo Andrade, we are so happy to know about your group in Nashville. Am I right? You're in Nashville. They have a group. You count on our support, okay? At Cardiac Radio, Spiritist Magazine, right? And we have here with us. Judas Tadeu, thank you so much, friend. Now, in another stanza, he says, Strive to do the good, and you have quiet hours. I know people who come to me and say, ah, I want to find tranquility, I want anything, I want my relationships to be tranquil and peaceful. But the question is, how do we find that tranquility? If you're asking this question, Casimiro Kuhn is answering. Quiet hours, tranquility, only as a byproduct of doing the good. Hello, Luciana. How are you? Missing you, my friend. We're missing you. We missed you yesterday. We're looking forward to seeing you on Wednesday. And the Lord spreads the nuts. You see nature, but we have to open them <laughs> without becoming nuts. All right, so here we have, we strive to do the good, but with the effort, we need to do the effort. And people are like, I want to do the good when it's easy. And even in a spirit center, and you know, it's natural. Kardec said one of the first rules for a good spirit center is work. But people come part as a team. When they have to work, they're like, but that's too much work, but, but that's part of it. And they try to simplify the works. And I always ask this question. What are you going to do with the extra time that you have at hand if you oversimplify? I'm going to be home. Doing what? Sleeping. Really? Well, how? Sleeping for more than you need. Relaxing for more than you need. And the spirits are in every single poem, statistically, in this book by Casimiro Cunha, every single poem he reinforces, no laziness, work more. 
No laziness, work harder. No laziness, strive to do more work. And we come and we oversimplify. Not because we want to do more works, because we don't want to do the work. It doesn't work. That doesn't work. We're supposed to occupy our time as much as we can, usefully. You know, sometimes cleaning a spirit center is the best way we can go home and sleep well. Painting, organizing. Yeah, I can hire a company to do it, but then what am I going to do at home? Oh, I could work on something else that is beneficial to everybody. But just to be at home doing nothing, that doesn't work. Okay? We're going to talk more about this and much more in two days when we start a new series. You know about the new series? Tomorrow we finish Drops of Light. It's the last chapter. Uh, by the way, beautiful. And we are going to begin a new series, which is based on a book that is already being translated into English. Uh, this one specifically, I started myself. It's the first book that I'll do from back to back by myself. I guess the spirits want me to learn more. And it's called Wisdom for the Spiritist Practitioner. According to the spirit mentors that guide Kardec Radio, we need to have uh, available opportunities to train spiritist practitioners around the world. And unfortunately, we, ha we have no organized um, effort in that regard. So he wants Kardec, they want Kardec Radio to really share this with everybody. Tools, techniques, wisdom from the higher spirits, several spirits bringing messages from Bezer de Menezes to Emmanuel and many others including Andrea Lewis, Umberto de Campos. Each and every chapter is a different illuminated spirit in that book on the Candario de Luz that is going to teach us specifically about being a spiritist worker. We call it a practitioner. Okay? That's starting in two days. For now, for now, only life should, our life should be a spring singing to kindness. Stagnated water without benefit is a safe block of illness. People think that kindness is about speaking softly and being concordant with everything. And speaking like this, almost like a ghost. Oh, oh. No. Kindness is what Jesus taught us. Hello, my friend. How are you? Firm, kind, attentive. Kind. Being useful to people, but firm. There is no kindness without firmness. The real kindness is firm. People feel, it's like children with parents. If parents are always like, oh, what do you want? I want ice cream. Um, okay, at 10 p.m., ice cream. But I want to be kind to my children. That's not kindness. That's craziness. You don't give ice cream to children at 10 p.m. Never, ever, unless 10 p.m. is somewhere else in the world and it's 10 a.m. for you on a weekend, hot and sunny and there's nothing else to do, that's a possibility, okay? So for now, for now, we would like to share with you that kindness, according to Jesus, is about paying attention to people listening to their needs, supporting their needs, but also making them feel that we're solid in our outreach. Okay? So, Humberto de Campo, Casimiro Cunha, is reminding us that's how our life should flow. That's how it should flow. If we don't, are in this mode of doing the good, because that's what goodness and kindness is all about, we'll be, we'll be sick. 
Before I go to the last two Jussar sharing, we also have from Brazilian Spiritist Federation, which is in Portuguese, I cannot recommend that to everybody here, Jussara, because this is solely, we know the Portuguese resources, but this needs to be in a guide to the Spiritist Practitioner, I know. And another one, the Spiritist work that can be found already translated at the website of the United States Spiritist Federation. That's true, Jussara, we have those manuals, but as you know, and you've been advocating for this, we need courses, current and daily and yearly and monthly and weekly, everything. That's what people have been requesting to Kardec Radio, that we have more resources for those who are working on Spiritism, because we have thousands of resources for people who want to know about Spiritism, but now who want to serve as a Spiritist practitioner. So I know there are good resources at the United States Spiritist Federation website, which is www.spiritist.us. There are beautiful resources there, but we need this one-on-one people coaching us, and there is nothing better than the coaching of the good spirits through these teachings of the books that are so amazing, right, Josada? And we are yet to do it. But thank you, Josada, for the reminder. So that's why talking about working constantly, here we have work constantly. If you seek light and peace, boredom is the invisible wound of the one who does nothing. You know, work constantly. Yeah. Time flies like the wind, day by day, hour by hour. If you want happiness, do the good here and now. The immortal remarks, bottom line, from beginning to end of this chapter is about. What is it about? Do the good, 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 do the good. Do the good, do the good. And, and Virginia would tell me, Mom, you're speaking fast. Yeah, do the good, do the good. It's almost like galloping. Do the good, do the good, do the good. And you go places. If you're galloping on this beautiful horse of life, and do the good, do the good, do the good, do the good. Why do you need a song? That's the rhythm. So in the next 24 hours, let's see how galloping we are. Are we galloping minute by minute or we're just relaxing? Do the good, do the good, do the good, do the good. And come up tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's the most beautiful poem of it is. The best is the last. It's saved for the last. It's titled The Inner, In the Inner Sanctuary. That's the last chapter. And it's his prayer to God and in a poetic way of saying, do the good, do the good, do the good. Come back tomorrow. We're going to wrap up this beautiful book together. Thank you, friends. Have a beautiful night.